In this video, I will explain the concept based on percentage. This question was asked in the year 2011. So without any further ado, let's get started. The question is that there are two candidates, P and Q in an election. During a campaign, 40% of the voter promised to vote P, rest for Q. However, on the day of election, 15% of the voters went back on their promise to vote for P instead of Q and 25% of the voters went back on their promise to vote for Q instead voted for P. Suppose P lost by 2 votes, then what was the total number of voters? Basically, we have two people, P and Q, 40% of the voter promised to vote P and rest Q, that means 60%. So, 15% of the voters who promised to vote P, 15% of the voters went back on their promise. That means, 15% of the people who promised to vote P went back on their promise. Not that total 15% of the voters went back on their promise. That means, what we have to do is, I'll show you. First, we will make two columns and write P in one column and Q on the other column. So in the question they told 40% of the voters promise to vote for P. Here we will write percentage. That means percentage of people who are supposed to vote P and Q. So as promised 40% of the voters told that they would vote for P. And the rest promised to vote for Q. As there is nobody other than these two. So rest means 60% of voters promise to vote for P. Now. As told in the question, 15% of voters who promised to vote P, that means 15 out of people who promised to vote P went on voting Q. That should be 15% of voters who promised to vote P. The main mistake we do is we take 100 here and we write 15% of the voter did not vote P. And we will subtract 15 from here and add 15 here. That is not the case. Read the question. They told that 15% of voters who went on their promise to vote for P, not 15% of total people. So in that case, this should be 6%. I will erase this as this is wrong. So. 6% of total people did not vote P, instead they voted Q. Now, we will consider this as case 1, case 1 and here the case 2. Remember, if 15% of voters are not voting P, they should vote Q. You can't just subtract minus 6 from P and forget to add 6 in Q. Because if someone is not voting P, then he should vote for Q. In case number 2, 25% of voters who promised to vote Q went on their promise. That means betrayed, basically betrayed Q and voted for P. So now, we know 25% of 60. That is... 100 goes 4 times, 60 upon 4 should be 15, it means 15%. 15 Remember subtracting and adding, 15% 15 of voters did not vote for Q, instead they vote for P. So if we calculate this, we will have 49 and should be 51. Let us consider that there are x number of voters. In that case, 49% of voters voted for P, 51% of voters voted for Q. Now we have 49% of x voting P. Similarly, 51% of people voting for Q. Q. Now let's get back to the question. Here they had mentioned P lost by 2 votes. So P has got less number of votes compared to Q. By how much? 2. That means vote of P is less than number of votes gained by Q. The difference is 2. 
that means if p gets two more votes his vote will be equal to vote which q got on substituting equation 1 and 2 in 3 1 and 2 in 3 what we should have is 49 times x by 100 plus i will bring q this side 51 times x divided by 100 and 2 goes that side minus 2 consider it as minus don't take it as directly 2 because you get confused sometimes and on solving this i will first take out minus because that is a lot more confusion hope you got how i wrote this 2 times x equals equals 200 that means x is 100 and we will check the options that is a that means our right answer is 